Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9? Yes. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. And... I can't remember what to do. <laughs> this is crazy. Anyway. Morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. So, where am I? Yes. I am officially pooped. I've really got to try and not overdo it um, over the next few days. Um, I've only got to get through to about midnight on Sunday and then I can have a rest for a day. I cannot wait for Monday. Um, yeah, it's just really manic as I knew it would be. Um, but when the work is there, you have to work. So there we are. Um, I am starting to make a few little mistakes, but nothing too major. So hopefully um, I'll be able to hold it together. So anyway, time to open my advent calendar, obviously. And as you can hear, my cold is coming back. Uh, which is rather annoying. Uh, day nine. Um, who hides in the bakery at Christmas? A mint spy. Yes. So I will eat my chocolate now and get on with the rest of my day. I'm about to get some bake while tarts out of the oven. Uh, I cannot show you how I make these because it is a top secret family recipe, but I will show you the results. So just bear with me a moment. No, they're still not quite ready. Another. Um, another three minutes maybe and then I'll show you them but they smell rather good today um, for a change I've put cherry jam in instead of raspberry um, normally oh and my phone's going so I just had another order for mince pies excellent <laughs> oh well yeah as I said earlier when the work is there you have to work so these are my bakewell tarts they've just come out of the oven so really happy with those and they should go down well this afternoon so this is uh, Bakewell tart number one um, and Bakewell tart number two. As I say, um, I can't reveal the um, Bakewell tart recipe to you. It's a very old family recipe that we've had for years. Um, my mum used to make it for me when I was a child and we always used to love it. And it was out of a really odd little kind of cafe cookbook um, from a cafe up in Ilkley where we used to live. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's just top secret. Uh, I've been I've been making it for a long time now myself, and um, it's a great family favourite. Francis loves it. Um, and uh, yeah, actually, I think I did feature it a while ago in a vlog. Thinking about it now, um, but yes, I have often. Um, wondered about getting it professionally made by a company and trying to market it. Um, well, it is a dream of mine um, and it would be an amazing reality um, because you can't really buy decent Bakewell tart um, in the shops. You get the Mr Kipling's thing with the icing and the cherry on. But you can't get a really nice almondy bake well tart these days. Maybe people don't like it, but that's not what I find. I, I generally find that people go mad for it when it's on offer. Um, and I have a couple of customers that ring me up every couple of months and they'll order a load for the freezer because they like them so much. And um, it's one of the cakes that um, I was known for in the area when I first started doing my cooking. Um, people would would uh, go to some of the local shops to buy my bake or tarts. So anyway, too much about bake or tart now. Those are my bake wells, they'll be fine for later. And I'm just uploading day eight, uh, which hopefully you'll enjoy. It's quite a short video, which uh, is good. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll uh, hopefully like that. And um, yeah, thanks to Kazmal for telling me I, I don't need to vlog every day <laughs> and uh, that uh, I shouldn't overdo it. You're right, but the problem is I'm, I'm one of those people, it's all or nothing. I either do this every day or I don't do it. And then it sort of becomes a bit pointless. So I am videoing every day. I might not upload every day, but I am videoing every day. So hopefully... Um, I will catch up at some point. I think next week I should be right on it, hopefully. And uh, hopefully we'll be doing a bit more Christmassy stuff. 
and um, getting the Christmas cakes sorted and decorating the house a bit before the weekend when it gets manic again. Anyway, I'll we'll leave it there for now and I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, and it's the time of day to weigh the puppies. Um, so I haven't shown you this yet, but every day um, we've been weighing the puppies to keep an eye on how they're getting on really. Um, and I thought I'd show you um, me weighing them. Not that the weighing is that interesting, but you'll be able to get a close up on each puppy and see what they are starting to look like. So, um, it doesn't look like they want to go anywhere at the moment. So this is my technical setup. Um, we've had to change to a bowl now to weigh the pups because the tea plate was just too small. So yep, yeah, my kitchen scales, a plastic bowl to hold them in and a bit of uh, tissue paper to stop them slipping about on the coffee table in front of the fire. Um, this is all a bit of a tip at the moment. Anyway, let's get on and weigh the pups. Oh, and my bit of Bakewell tart for later. So we'll start in order of birth and uh, here we have Teaser. I think you can see her all right. She's the little brown bitch. Um, so yes, Teaser's quite sweet. Um, she's proving to be the smallest at the moment, even though she was born first. Um, but uh, yeah, nice little puppy. So we'll just weigh Teaser and see what she's doing. Teaser's in the bowl and 452 grams. So that's really good. She's improved from yesterday. Then puppy number two is Plow. It's this little black boy. Um, he's rather stocky, rather solid, aren't you, Plow? And um, so we're going to weigh you now. So in you go then, Plow. And how much are you weighing? You are weighing four... 480. Can you stay still? 484. And the third puppy to be born was Tipsy. Um, she's a what they call a bronze colour. Um, so she's not black, she's not chocolate, she is bronze coloured really. So yep, she's doing really well. Her and uh, Linkage, both the bronze puppies, seem to be doing the best at uh, growing at the minute. So we'll just weigh um, t Tipsy now and she's weighing 514 and she's such a little windbag. She um, has quite a different voice to everyone else. It's quite deep from the moment she came out. Oh, Tangle. We wanted to see what they're up to. Here you are. Here she is. Here is Tipsy, and Tipsy we think might be smooth coated, and uh, she's extremely glossy. Um, so there we go. Let's have Tipsy back then. So then, moving on, we have Linkage, and he looks just like Tipsy, bronze, but he has a lot of white on his chest. He's too being too wriggly for me to show you. Five fifty. You put on a hundred grams in two days, Mister. You are a little bruiser. And this is the situation we seem to find the puppies in most of the time. Crawling, well, rolling out of the bed. Hello, Tangle. And then uh, Tangle has to help them back in. Because they haven't quite worked out how to climb back in yet. There's not a lot of power in the back legs. Anyway, let's wake up this little one. And this is Whistle. It was the last to be born. Oh, that's a big yawn, Whistle. No, Tink, we don't need your assistance. So, this is Little Whistle. She was the last to be born. She was born at 2.30 on the Saturday morning. And she's a, what we call red, but she's rather blonde, if you ask me. Um, she's a lovely little pup. Oh, that's very nice. Whistle, nuzzling on my neck. So, let's just pop you in the bowl now. Oh, is that nice? Yeah. Oh, whistle. Anyway, let's pop you in the bowl. So, whistle in the bowl, and you're weighing 470 grams. Pretty sweet. And here is Tink, keeping an eye on everything. Oh, let's have a little snooze in there. Yes, definitely 470, whilst you're not moving. Oh. <laughs> 
Nice. I think Whistle's quite relaxed in the bowl. So that's the puppies weighed for today and um, three of them have put on close on 100 grams in the last two days which is great and then Plough and Teaser, the first two born, they don't seem to have done that well so we just need to keep an eye on those now and um, just see if we can spot any obvious reasons to why they haven't been putting on so much weight but hopefully they'll catch up tomorrow and um, it won't be anything to worry about. So. That's the puppies weighed and now I'm going to eat my bakewell tart and I will sign off for the day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.